Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to register an instance to AWS Systems Manager and how to do patching. All right, so I'm in my AWS console. So first let's quickly launch an EC2 instance, which we are going to patch using AWS Systems Manager. So let's go to launch instance. And we are going to select an Amazon uh, Linux uh, AMI because the Amazon Linux AMI comes pre-installed with uh, SSM agent. So we don't need to go and install SSM agent externally. Although if you're using say a CentOS image or a Red Hat image, uh, there are instructions available. So I'll put the link in the description to how to install SSM agent on CentOS or any other uh, uh, operating system by, uh, basically. So, but for this video, we are going to use Amazon Linux image. So we wouldn't actually need to install SSM agent. So let's select that Amazon Linux 2. We'll use the T2 micro instance type and we'll put it and let's just do next, next security group. Let's launch. So we'll probably create a new key pair, although we wouldn't actually uh, need to SSH into this instance, but you may never know what, what can go wrong, right? So let's just create a key, SSM hyphen key, download it. And now let's launch the instance. So by the time this instance is coming up, I need to do one more prerequisite that is required for your EC2 instance to communicate with SSM. And that is to create an IAM role that we are going to attach to this instance. So let's go to IAM. Inside this, let's go to roles, create role, EC2 instance type role we want. And in the permissions, let's look for SSM core. So this is the policy which we want to attach to this role, Amazon SSM managed instance core. Earlier it was called something else. I don't actually remember what it was called. And the role name we are going to give is SSM instance profile. Everything looks good. Let's create the role. All right, so now let's go back to our EC2 console. Go to instance, select the instance, go to action, instance setting, and attach or replace IAM role. So if we go to the drop down, you could see the role which we created is already populated. So let's select this and apply. All right, so now we have, since we have done this, our instance should be available in AWS Systems Manager. So let's go to Systems Manager. And any instance which you register to Systems Manager is available in the Managed Instance Console. So let's go to Managed Instance. And it may take a minute or two for this instance to appear over here. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once this instance is available in the Managed Instance Console. All right, so it took almost like six minutes, seven minutes for this instance to appear. Normally it doesn't take that much of time, but somehow it took like seven minutes. And for SSM, you don't need to actually open any ports in your security groups. That I mean, that's one security benefit that SSM offers. So there are no ports that are required to your for your instance to actually make calls to SSM, right? So there are no port requirement. So that happens, at, I think, uh, using the AWS internal network somehow. All right, so now that our instance is registered, let's see how we can do the patching on this. Uh, SSM actually offers a lot of different features. So we are not covering all those features. We are just covering um, how to patch this instance. I mean, if you look at on the left hand side, there are a lot of options available to you, right? But we are not going to look into all these options. Uh, we, we will be focusing completely on patching this instance. So to do that, let's go to patch manager. Right, so now go to configure patching. Let's select instance manually and 
all the managed instance would appear under this so we have only one managed instance so let's select this skip let's just skip the maintenance window i mean if you want you can set up a maintenance window as well and one more thing i wanted to tell you so there are different ways to patch an instance using ssm right so one way is this one which we are doing else i'll show you how you can do in a different way so let's just cancel out of this and let me show you the other way so you go to managed instance in fact that is much easier way probably you go inside your instance you go to patch so here you will see if there are patch any patch applied to you right uh, i think let's go back to manage instance there's an option i'm looking for is patch now i think it's under patch manager itself so i think i went oh yeah it is there it is patch now so you can patch an instance without an schedule. So let's just do that. Let's patch an instance without any schedule. Let's just run scan at this time and let's select patch only targeted instance and choose the instance manually and select this instance. And now let's run the patch. So here you would see the result of your patching operation. So it's just one instance it shouldn't take more than a minute maybe so you can see it has completed this it has it is showing the success uh, uh, status so how are you go actually going to verify so let's go to manage instance instances and go inside your instance go to patch and in the i mean in the search bar go to state and let's look for missing patches so as you can see at this point of time it didn't find any patches that are missing so in the compliance box this instance should be compliant that is there are no open vulnerabilities to be patched on this particular instance so I mean even if we don't apply any patch or if we so we ran the scan operation we didn't run the scan and install operation right and we probably don't need to run scan and install because our instance is already comply compliant so there are no open vulnerabilities that are I mean open for this particular instance all right so that was one way uh, I wanted to show you something about when we were doing the configure patching right so let's go to configure patching and i mean it's the very i mean it's the same thing uh no i don't want it to show you that i wanted to show you something else and that is create a patch baseline yeah this is something i wanted to show so by default there are already some patch baselines which are there you can see these right so if you look if you just do a search so this is the amazon linux 2 default patch baseline so if we go inside this you would see what all is going to happen so the classification is security severity critical and important and it will wait for seven days before applying any patch so any patch a new patch when it's available this patch baseline is actually going to wait for seven days before applying so your instance will be non-compliant for seven days so this is the behavior which we don't want right so this is probably you would want to override so you can do that by creating your own patch baseline so let's say new amazon the next to baseline let's copy the same thing for description amazon linux 2 and this option you need to check so set this patch baseline as default baseline for amazon linux 2 instance so whenever when we are going to run the patching in future uh, aws systems manager is going to refer to this particular patch baseline instead of the instance instead sorry instead of the default patch baseline which we i mean which you already have right so let's check this option so now this patch baseline which we are creating becomes the default right and now you can set your rules 
so product so let's say i just want amazon linux i don't want all the amazon linux 2 or 2.0 i think they are different so let's just select all let's be be on the safer side right severity so what kind of bugs we actually want to uh, patch so let's say i want to only patch critical and important let's say all so for the classification select patches by classification so let's say all and auto approval so approve patches after a specified number of days and approve patches release up to a specific date so there are two options that you can provide auto approval so i am going to select the approve patches after a specified number of days and the number of days i am going to set is to zero because i want as soon as the patch is available i should be able to apply that so in the default patch baseline you saw that that number was 7 so i cannot apply the patch before 7 days right so once the patch is uh, released uh, this patch the earlier patch baseline would wait for 7 days before the patch would be applied but the new patch baseline which we are creating is actually going not going to wait for like any days like right? zero days right uh, compliance reporting this is optional so specify the severity level to report for the patches that match the rules so let's just leave that as unspecified patch execution so here you can basically i mean do selective patching so you can either put the name of the patch which you want to apply or you can even put the name of the patches that you want to reject while doing the patch operation patch sources so here you can provide an external source so suppose i mean on your so aws ssm uses all the repos that are configured on the system in the etcm.repos.d directory but if you want that you should be able to fetch patches from an external source apart from the uh, sources that are configured on instance you can set those sources in these over here right and let's see if there's anything else uh, da, 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 da. i don't think so all right so now let's create this patch baseline so now the patch baseline is created and it is default for our amazon linux 2 so you can see the default patch baseline is now no right and the patch baseline which we created uh, where is it just look i think it should be here the new amazon linux base 2 patch baseline this is the default for amazon linux 2 all right so now let's try and patch again and see if anything changes but probably it won't change because we don't have any patches to apply let's go to our instance go to patch or rather i will not go here let's go to patch manager so actually ssm is a little confusing i mean if if you are new to aws probably it will take some time for you to getting you because in ssm the biggest thing is that you have multiple ways to do one single task like i showed you for patching so there are multiple ways you can patch i mean you can even patch by running by using run command so that is that that's what i'm not showing over here or you can patch by running document and that is also we are not covering in this lecture we are just covering the patch manager and the managed instance again let's let's this time run scan install and we do not want to reboot our instance once we install so there may be patches that require a reboot so ssm will actually do a reboot for you but if you don't want to i mean reboot your instance once uh, the patch is applied you can select this option and let's select patch all option or patch all instances and let's run patch now so this is probably going to take another minute or so and we'll probably get a green success status and we'll get a compliant instance because we actually don't have any patch to apply at this moment let's just see or rather wait and it is completed let's go to managed instances patch so 
so there are no missing patches now let's do a filter on installed was that a bomb probably it's festival time right all right so you can see all these patches were installed and you can see the timestamp as well so it's 21 9 20 so these are the patches which are not installed by us you can see the time right so these were installed by aws when they created this ami so this ami got upgraded and these were the patches that were installed on 21st and today is 25th so four days back amazon actually did some patching but if we look when we did patching so we found nothing because the patching has been done just four days back right so this ami is uh, very recently patched so that that is what that is the reason we don't actually have any patch to be installed all right so yeah this is it for this video guys this is uh, all i wanted to show you how you can patch uh, an amazon linux instance using aws systems manager you can do the same thing in on i mean using any other uh, uh, operating system so you can have an uh, instances of say centos or red hat linux right so I'll put the instruction to install the SSM agent onto those instances and then you need to put the SSM role basically and attach the role to those instances and then your instance would be automatically registered to SSM and you'll see those instances in the managed instance console and then you can do multiple operations. So if you even want to run some ad hoc commands on your instance, you don't actually don't need to go into those instances by SSHing or creating an RDP session if, if they are a Windows instance, right? You can simply use run command from AWS Systems Manager and run whatever command you want to run. So this is basically a step towards, I mean, non-SSH, non-access based uh, uh, administration. So SSM is actually that step in AWS, right? All right, so this is it for this video, guys. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And yeah, thank you for watching.